What's up everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Main Deck Monday. And if you watched the past weekend of the London International or Continent International Intercontinental Challenge, I forget what it's called. Um there's a person who got ninth place, and that was Alex Hill, and he actually played a Best McQueen Zep Striker deck, which has like shocked a ton of people. Like everybody's like, what? This is a deck, and yeah, I mean this deck was actually um, talked about a lot at the start of the year, but had died off, and, and obviously it died off because of Battle Presser, where you can't discard your Pokemon anymore, but Alex did show it does have potential, a lot of potential in the standard format. Um, now, Alex, uh, he did unfortunately get ninth. He barely missed top eight, but if he had made top eight, I think he would have won the whole thing because uh, there was a ton of Eotog Arboter in this in the top eight, which is a fantastic matchup for you. Like, that's what this deck's meant to be. But uh, let's go over this deck and let's see what's it about. Why is this deck so strong, even though Battle Compressor has been rotated out? Well, first off, we have to look at Best Queen. Best Queen has Be Revenge. It does 20, and it does 10 more damage for each Pokemon in your discard pile. So if you have up to 60 Pokemon in your discard pile, you can Be Revenge for 180 damage and take a knockout that way. All right, our next attacker is going to be Zap Striker. And this, like, both these guys combined together are going to destroy even talk about Boater. Uh, Zip Striker has Zap Zone. Damage from the attacks of your lightning Pokemon is affected by any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. But what we're looking at is Crashing Bolt. It does 50. If your opponent's active Pokemon has any fighting resistance, this attack does 60 more damage. And if you do that times two, that is 220. Which is knocking out all those even tall Because even with the fighting throughout, you still take a knockout because you have 210 HP. And that's the plan today. We're going to use uh, Vest Queen, Zep Striker, take knockouts on the Evatol pretty easily, and hopefully Vest Queen take it to win everything else. And uh, that's the plan today. Now, we play four Klefki with Wonderlock. Um, this is how we're going to beat Mega Dex. And get more Pokemon in Discord Pile as well. Uh, Klefki has Wonderlock. Once during your turn, before you attack, and this Pokemon is on your bench, you may discard all cards attached to this Pokemon and attach it to one of your Pokemon as a Pokemon tool card. And what that does is it prevents any damage done to this Pokemon that has any that has uh blah, blah, blah. it prevents any damage done to, the, to this Pokemon this card is attached to by attacks from your opponent's Mega Evolution Pokemon. If this card is attached to a Pokemon, discard the card at the end of your opponent's turn. So essentially, what happens is you want to lock a Vest Queen, and then your opponent's Mega Pokemon can't hurt it. Like you know, Mega Claza, Mega Gardevoir, all that stuff cannot hurt it because Klefki is protecting it. And at the end of turn, Klefki gets discarded. Now, what if you're not playing a Mega? How is this card useful? Well, what you can do is you can Waterlock an Unknown. An Unknown has that Feral Letter. What's during your turn before you attack? If this Pokemon is on your bench, you may discard this Pokemon and all cards attached to it. If you do, draw a card. So. You can one unlock an unknown, then Feral Letter to discard two Pokemon into your discard pile, which is fantastic to even power up a little bit more. And more unknowns in your discard pile means Vest Queen does more damage as well. Alright, and we get to draw cards out of it. Not bad at all. Uh, 2 2 Garboder. Garboder is used to help you against Greninja. Greninja is a very, very hard matchup because they can use the giant water shuriken. Now you might be saying, what are you talking about? Greninja is easy. They're weak to grass. And I'm like, no, it, it seems easy on paper. But once they start, like, giant water shuriking you, you're in trouble because they can take multiple knockouts in one turn. Um, and that's what Garbatox will come into play. And also it helps against other decks as well, like Shaman, uh, Volcanion maybe as well. So they have to attack you with the Volcanion X. It's still a very hard matchup against Volcanion for sure. But yeah, Garbatoxin is very, very deadly uh, overall. Like, it's really good. Even though I was playing it for a reason, so of course, we're going to play it as well. And like always, for shame to help us set up 28 Pokemon, but 8 of them are going to help us set up. Alright, so for Acrobite, look at top 2 cards of your deck, put one in your hand, and discard the other. Uh, this is going to help us just draw through the deck quicker and discard more Pokemon, obviously. 2 Revitalizer to put 2 Grass, two grass Pokemon from your discard pile back into your hand. Uh, 2 Special Charge to shuffle 2 Special Energy cards from your discard pile back into your deck. Uh, so this way you can reuse your DCs if they do get discarded, which is fantastic. Uh, four Ultra Ball and four Via Seeker. No Trainer's Mill. Um, I know Andrew Wimball, this list is very close to his um, that he posted online. Uh, if he hasn't posted online, he's, he's going to post an article on it. And once that article does come up, I will link it. Uh, but it's very, it's fairly close to his. Um, but Trainer's Mill, I don't know. I, I, most people are only playing two. I know Andrew will play two. So I decided to cut them and play other cards instead. 
which is what I'm doing now. Uh, but like I said, once the article is up, I'll leave a link down below to the description. Make sure to check that out. And I know Alex Hill is probably going to write an article, and then he'll probably do an interview on the channel as well to talk about his run. Uh, so you're going to see a ton of Best Queens Death Striker decks come out here in a couple of days. Uh, two Lights in there, break a poke over the bench, two in, three Sycamore, and one Teammates. Now, Teammates is such a crucial card because if one of your Pokemon discard are knocked out, you can search deck for any two cards and put them into your hand, which can guarantee you, guarantee you like a DC and attacker, a DC and a VS Seeker for next turn. Whatever two cards VS Seeker, I mean, Teammates can help you get, which is fantastic. One Forest of Giant Plants. Now, Forest of Giant Plants is going to help us, you know, get the best queens out of nowhere, uh, which is fantastic. Uh, late game, or even early game if needed, but it's going to help us bump the Parallel Cities as well. Um, I kind of want to play a second or third one, but it's very hard to fit that in here right now. I know a lot of lists were playing, like, either one Sot Lab, one Fated Town, one Forest of Giant Plants. Um, so it's up to you. I think that Forest of Giant Plants is better, so you can get best queen out of nowhere, which is fantastic. I uh, would play three Flustone. You could cut it down to two and maybe play a heavier Zep Strike Online. Like, if you want to, you cut the Forest Giant Plants and Flustone for a three, three Zep Strike Online if you want to. Um, but then you kind of like struggle against Parallel City, which is the downfall of that, and four DCs. Now, we're not going to play against, not, we're not going to play Ranger. We're just going to take the Auto Loss to like, um, Giratina. If they Chaos Well, take a knockout, then you lose, whatever. Um, one Ranger is not going to help you enough against Giratina. That's just a bad matchup for all. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I think this deck is super strong. If you're playing at Standard Regionals coming up, even Talk Up Butter is going to be everywhere. It, it got first and second, third and fourth at an Intercontinental Challenge this past weekend. It got first and second at Fort Wayne, and it got first in Orlando, and you're crazy if you don't think even Star Guard Boater is not going to be any everywhere. And the one deck that like directly counters that is Best Queen of Striker. And even then, it's not a guaranteed 100%. I know Alex did lose to one, and this is best two out of three. So even Star Guard Boater is definitely the best deck in format right now, but this deck does pretty hard counter. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and let's see the deck in action. Alright, so putting against Pokey TCG playing a Psychic, Dark, and a Colors deck now. Could this be Evo Talk Up Odor? And if it is, that is what this deck's meant to do, or beat. So we won the coin flip, we'll be able to go first, and yes, I would love to go first, and hopefully it is that Evo Talk Up Odor deck, and I can just show you how good of a match with this, match with this is. Alright, so he's going to know we're playing Zep Striker with the Crashing Bolt, uh, which pretty much knocks out all of his Evo Talk Yex, even with the Fighting Fear Belt, which is fantastic. Unless he's playing like Dark Ride, then things get very interesting because Zip Strike is not really that good against Dark Ride, but uh, we still have Best Queen to take care of that if needed. So, I'm gonna put a Pokemon in the Axe spot. Okie dokie. Uh, we will press done and let's get a new hand of seven. Let's take number two. Alright, so Klefki, unknown. Alright, so this is uh, sometimes the downfall of this deck. We're gonna start Klefki. And put unknown on the bench. That way we can actually draw with it because we are going first. So yes, we'll say uh, yes. And let's see what do we top deck and do we play the do we play the unknown or not? It's going to be my big question. All right. So hopefully with the unknown we can hit an ultra ball. Um, I'd be fine with the juniper. I'm fine with in any of these cards. I or sycamore. Sorry. And there's a trubbish. Hey, we thought of a combi. There we go. So put down the combi. We use feral letter. Uh, discard the unknown to draw a new card, and what do we draw into? Another unknown, so put that down, play another unknown, discard to draw another new card, and come on Ultra Ball, and there's a Trubbish. Okay, so, <clears throat> I think right now I'm just going to pass. Um, we could put a DC on Combi, but they probably play um, Enhanced Hammer, so pass on to our opponent's turn, which is unfortunate. Like, that's not a good turn one. Uh, but that does happen with this deck sometimes. Sometimes it just breaks and you don't hit anything, which is the downside of this deck sometimes. So on to my opponent's turn, they're going to draw a card. And I wonder if they have an in. Um, do they have a Lysander? Do they have some way to knock out a Klefki? Klefki does have resistance to dark, which is fantastic. Now, they could use the Fright Knight Evasol if they want to, uh, to keep the Clefty stuck in the active spot, but they would not hit any bench Pokemon as of right now. So, Ultra Ball, discarding a Lysander and a Fighting Fear Belt. Now, he could have a Lysander as Combi, taking a knockout, but it looks like he's going to opt to do something else, or maybe he's digging for more and then wants to go for a Lysander. So, there's an Evil Tall EX coming down onto the field. Alrighty, but remember, we do play Death Striker. Even with the Fighting Fear Belt, we can do 210 Max Elixir. Pretty dark energy on that guy. Alright. 
Uh, another max elixir, so two max elixirs on the first turn, and the second one does hit as well. Wow. All right, and DC TD active, and he could have played a life soon to knock out Combi this turn. Retreats to Evitol and show me. Six, oh no, just Evitol uh, for 50 damage. So we're both kind of dead drawing here. Uh, there's an Ultra Ball. Wow. So we'll Ultra Ball uh, discard the Garboder and a VS Seeker. I'm going to discard a Revitalizer actually. So I'm going to discard these two. Grab a Shaman. Okay. <laughs> We'll put down a Trubbish, DC, and we will Shaman for four new cards. Let's see what can we find with the Shaman. Give me something good. All right, so we can uh, Unknown. I'll play it, Feral Letter, draw another new card. Let's see what do we find. We find a Acrobike, so Acrobike number one. Uh, we'll grab a, a Shaman, okay. We will Acrobike again. To grab an N. Alright, there we go. That's what we want to see. So grab the N. Uh, put down a Clef Key. And we're going to Clef Key just the Trubbish. It doesn't really matter. Uh, we'll put down Combi, I think. And just in for a new hand of six. Alright, let's see. What can we find with this N? There's a Vest Queen, Floodstone, and a Shaman. Alright, so we can uh, Clef Key. Uh, Wonderlock something. So put down Vest Queen. Floatstone the Active. Floatstone a Shaman. Uh, retreat into the Vespa Queen. We will Wonderlock the uh, Vespa Queen, sure, and we will shame and set up for four new cards and see. Can we find? Ooh, uh, yeah, I think I'm still gonna put shame and set up for four new cards, hoping to find a Blitzel to put down onto our field. So let's see what do we find. And there, oh, Zeb Strika. It's not what we want to see. So we will be revenge. Not enough for the knockout. All right, so 60 damage. All right, so under our opponent's turn, if he takes a knockout. We could do 6, 7, 8, 7, 8, 9, 10, 100 damage, which still is not enough for a knockout. There's a Floodstone going down to Trubbish, okay, and an N. That's fantastic. We get a new hand of 6, because right now hand is not the greatest either. And let's see, what do we find? We found an Unknown, Acrobite, Trubbish, okay. A Vest Queen as well. All right. I uh, wish we had to grab the Sycamore. Oh, we do have a Sycamore Disco Pearl, so that's fantastic, okay. But can we put... Nine more Pokemon in the discard pile. If we do, uh, we'll be able to take a knockout this turn. All right, so Ultra Ball going to discard a Trubbish and a Flowstone. And let's see what he's got to get. So Garboder will come down. Oh, no, that's not good at all. He will shut down our abilities. All right, so Perilous City. Wow, so we actually had to discard a Pokemon, and I'm fine with this. I'm going to discard... All right, we can either... Uh, I think I'm going to discard the Shaman without the Flowstone, Okay. <laughs> All right, um, yep, okay, I'm going to do that. I wonder if Clef Clefky still, does Clefky still get turned off? It's not a totally more if Garboda comes to play, so just, does it just get discarded? I wonder how this chain events will work if he does do this. So Shaman coming down, and Shaman coming down is fantastic. That is an easy knockout as well. So there's three EX knockouts on the field. There's the active Evita, bench Evita, and the bench Shaman as well. All right, so Garboda coming down, and does that mean Clefky gets popped off, or do they stay on, or... I wonder how that interaction works. It looks like they are staying on right now. There's a DC to the active, and we will see a Eva Ball for a knockout doing 150 damage. All right, so <sighs> go down to five part cards. We'll send a shame in. Does it, how does a Clef Key work? Does they get bumped off? Oh, okay, it does get bumped off. All right, just making sure. So on our turn, we get a Sycamore. Okay, so I'm going to Vessel Queen this guy. Acrobike, we got top two. Um, we'll grab another Acrobike. All right, we're going to Acrobike again. Grabbing a Bloodstone. There we go. That's what we want to see. We want to put the Bloodstone down onto the field. We will Floatstone the Trubbish, and we will Sycamore, discard our hand, drawn seven new cards. And there's a Special Charge. Okay, a Zep Striker. So, hmm, let's see. Two, three. Okay, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oh, we are one damage short. Oh, my goodness. All right, so... What I'm going to do is just DC the Vespa Queen. Retreat. And I'm going to go for a B Revenge for a knockout. Okay, not for knockout, for 10 damage short. Unfortunately, 10 damage short. Are you kidding me? All right, so whatever. Uh, what we could do is Sky Return the Evotol, promote the Trubbish, let that get knocked out. That is fine. Um, he's still going to take one prize card, okay? 
Uh, we have Special Charge as well, so we can shuffle two DCs back of their deck. There's a Trainer's Mel. Look at the top cards of their deck, and let's see what do they decide to discard. Uh, my opponent has not played any VS Seekers either, okay? All right, so I think our plan next turn is, uh, like I said, is to Sky Return with Shaman to knock out this Evatol. So we see a uh, Max Luxus in an okay. And what else will I mean? He'll probably Y Cyclone for the knockout to conserve that DC. So Sycamore discarding his hand, discard the Life Center and a Via Seeker, which is fantastic. Okay, all right, so that's a one less Via Seeker we have to worry about, one Life Center we have to worry about. So he has three Via Seekers left. He has probably that probably it. Uh, Dark Energy, this guy. I don't care too much about Fright Knight, uh, 100 damage, because we are playing the Sky Return to knock this guy to send up the Trubbish. Alright, so move the DC, that guy, uh, go down to four price cards, we're going to send up Shaman, and as long as we find a DC, we should be okay. So into our turn, we get a Klefki, so put down the Zep Striker, we will Special Charge to shuffle two DCs back into our deck, so one to two, and we will end for a new hand of six, as long as we find... A DC, we should be okay, and oh my goodness! All right, so oh wow, unfortunate. Okay, so we're gonna Ultra Ball, discard teammates and Lysander. Uh, no, I'm gonna discard a Lysander and Garboder to grab a Combi. We have a oh, we have a Blitzel Prize as well. This is the downfall playing only two Blitzel. Okay, so grab Combi. We'll put that guy down. Uh, retreat into Trubbish and just pass, okay? Now, if it takes a knockout, we get teammate for DCE and a Sycamore. Um, or a Via Seeker. Uh, yeah, let's see what happens. I mean, regardless, if it takes a knockout, we can take a knockout of the Shaman and then have Vest Queen ready to go. Right now, Vest Queen is doing a ton of damage. It's still not taking a knockout on the Evotol, though. He's only going down to three prize cards, but... We should be okay. Uh, 20, 40, 60, 80. He can't knock out Zep Striker just yet. It needs 90 damage. So he's going to white cycle him for 100 damage. Oh, he could have white cycle the Zep Striker. All right. So he's going to go down to three prize cards. We're going to send the Shaman. Uh, yeah. It goes down to three. And I have a plan. I do, I do, I do have a plan. I do, I do, I do have a plan. All right. So send up Shaman. Okay. On our turn, we are going to teammates getting a DC and a VS Seeker. Okay. All right, so we'll grab these two. We will revitalize her for a Combi and Vespa Queen. All right, so we'll put these two guys in our hand. We'll put down the Combi, the DC the active, and we will Sky Return for a knockout promoting a Combi. All right, so 30 damage. We'll send up a combi, and we'll go down to four prize cards. So here we go, one and two. We get a Blitzel and a Shaman. There we go. There's the other Blitzel that we need. All right, so that's fantastic. And I wonder what he'll decide to send up. Does he send up to Fright on Evatol? That could take a knock on our combi, bringing him down to two. But we can retaliate uh, by life center of the Evatol with the... Ooh, we actually take a knockout of Vespa Queen and put down two Blitzels. Ooh, yeah, that, that's a really threatening right there for sure. Uh, so we're going to take a knockout, go to promote the Evatol Yux, and does he have a Lysander? Um, either way, what we can do, uh, Fighting Fury going down to the Evatol Yux, don't care about that too much. Um, if he doesn't have a Lysander Zep Striker, I'm definitely, okay, there's a VS Seeker for Lysander, bring it at the Zep Striker, okay? So our plan, though, is to <clears throat> put down the Blitzel, Vespa Queen, DC, Lysander Shaman, and take a knockout that way, and play as many cards as we can down. So 110 damage, knocking out a Zep Striker, going down to two prize cards. So instead of Combi, and let's see what, how is these couple turns going to pan out? That's going to be the big question. So there's a DC, so put down Blitzel. We'll put down Vespa Queen. We will Ultra Ball discard when and two. To grab, I guess, a Zip Striker. Just saying, hey, next turn, we're going to have the game if you don't end us. Um, or if you don't have a life sand, okay? So grab a Zip Striker. We'll put a Floatstone on a Combi. Life sander up the Shaman. DC the active, and we will be revenge for a knockout. How much damage are we doing? 200 damage. So even if this Evatol takes a knockout, we can still take it. I mean, if this Evatol takes a knockout on our Blitzel, we can still take a knockout with our Vespa Queen. And yeah, it's going to come down to this, but we should be able to win the game. Uh, he's going to promote the Evatol X, which is not the... I mean, he's still... I like, guess not going to do anything, really. 
Unless he has, like, Enhanced Hammer in. Yeah, that's probably the worst play. Enhanced Hammer in would win him the game. Well, what would win him the game? We'll go down two cards. Uh, we have a couple of VS stickers left. Uh, we have multiple DCs as well. So we'll see how does this how does this plan go? Does my opponent go for a Lysander? If he goes for a Lysander, that doesn't matter. Best Queen take a knockout, right? It's still threatening that Evithal because that two ten HP. Um, yeah, we'll see what he decides to do here. He could if he okay if he ends retreats and attack with this guy. It's not enough for a knockout, but uh, we cannot win immediately. All right, so we'll see what does my opponent decide to do. We only have like what. Seven cards left in deck, so 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, we know we have a couple of DCs in there. Um, there is a Ultra Ball. Go and discard two cards with hands. Discards an Evitol. Any Trainer Smell? And does he play Dark Rite or not? He's not going to get anything. Okay. And what will he do here? That's going to be the big question. The question on everybody's mind, what will our opponent do? Will he play an in? Uh, he has played two VS Seekers, one in. And yeah, it's up to him. What will he do here? Now, if he ends us, we hit via Seeker. We win automatically. We can just grab some Shika, DCE, Best Queen, DC, whatever we want to, which is fantastic. Uh, we're just waiting to see. I mean, the only plan, like I said, if he... If he life centers Blitz on Hand Stammer, that doesn't... I mean, it depends what the one card is. All right, so Dark Energy to Frighten on the all. And there's a Sycamore. We will win this game, guys. It does not matter what happens. We have a Via Seeker for life center. We have a DC in, and we will take this game. And you can see, even though this is like an auto-win match, it was still pretty close. I mean, I don't think we drew that well, if I remember correctly. But yeah, you can beat the Evisol Garbota deck pretty easily. Uh, we did probably have a Blitz Surprise. You could play a 3-3 like I said earlier in the video. Uh, but that is up to you. As you can see, it's really not that needed either. You just got to make sure you're smart. Yeah, the, the, the turn we did the 200 damage or like having the Evisol not be a knockdown or what, automatically was definitely like the downside of this match. But we're just waiting for my opponent to see what would they do. Uh, no matter what, the Strike can take a knockout. Best can take a knockout. There's a Max Lux here. Go to the top six cards of his stack, and he's going to put that dark on the Evitol, and he's just going to evolve for a knockout, but we have a Blood Soul, Zip Shrika, and Zip Shrika will take a game, uh, 60 plus 50 is 110 times 2, 220, which will knock out this guy, uh, so got a one price card, alright, so got out one price card, we'll send the Blood Soul, and we'll let Zip Shrika take the last knockout, alright, now we could, like, VS Seeker for our teammates, grab Vest Queen, Ultra Ball, do like uh, 230, whatever it is. But we'll send a Blitz, we'll put down Zip Strike, a DCE, and wheel crashing bolts for the knockout. But we'll see one more game with the Blitz, Hole Zip Strike, a Vest, oh my goodness, uh, the Zip Strike, a Vessel Queen deck here in a second. We're just waiting for our opponent to take his last prize card. What is he doing? Why is he not taking this? Oh my goodness, please don't do this, Poke TCG. Come on, man. Take your prize card. Let's go with it. Um,. Yeah, I mean, we won this game. We're just waiting for opponent now. Just waiting on opponent. All right, so send a blitz. So we'll put down Zip Striker, DCE, and we'll take the game. So on our turn, we have Zip Striker. We will DC and we will crashing bolt for the knockout doing 210 damage to that even 220 sorry to that even tall yucks and we'll take the game. We extra prize a cleft and a shaman as well. But there we go guys. There's round uh, game number one with the uh, Zeb Strika Vest Queen deck. I, like I've said earlier, even tall garboder is going to be everywhere. It's going to be pretty much the biggest deck in Dallas. So if you cannot beat this deck, make sure you're testing against even tall garboder for sure. I mean, you're, you're dump testing. It's I mean you might play against Vest Queen Zeb Strika. It's still like a very, like, it's not a new deck, but a lot of people aren't going to transfer over to it. They're still going to play Evil Talk Garboder and just hope they whiff this matchup. But guys, we'll see one more game with the deck here in a second. We'll see what happens. Can we get another victory or not will be the big question. All right, we'll see what happens. All right, so when it gets Derek Lee, Derek, uh, looks like another Evil Talk Garboder deck, which is fantastic. So yes, we'll call heads. And we are going second, unfortunately. But hopefully, we don't have that bad start. And we can show you a better matchup against Evo Talker Boater. So, on to our opponent's turn. So, we get double unknown, uh, which is fine. We do have a full stone for one of them. So, we put down double unknown, press pass, or press done. And there's Dark Energy, Parallel City, Max Luxor. So, it does look like an Evo Talker Boater deck. Alrighty, which is fine. Like I said, most of regionals are going to be playing Evo Talker Boater. It is the best deck in the format. 
for a reason. All right, so seven new cards coming down from opponent. And let's see what's going to happen, guys. Put a Pokemon in the active spot. I mean, uh, another Pokemon coming down. We get two Mulligan draws, which is fantastic. So yes and yes. There's a DC Ultra Ball, so press done. Uh, Evital and a Trubbish. All righty. Okay, so I think your plan is to like... I don't know what our plan is, actually. Um, the first couple turns is always weird with Vest Queen because you don't know what you're going to draw into. So we'll just pass on to our turn. All right, so we got a Garboder. So I'm going to Ultra Ball, discard Sycamore, and the Garboder. Uh, to grab a Combi. All right, so both Blitzel and Angel Strikers are here, so that's fantastic. So grab the Combi, put that down. Uh, DCE, close on the active. Shaman set up for four new cards. All right, let's see what can we find with the Shaman special charge, full stone, blitzel. So put down blitzel, uh, combi. We will feral letter number one to discard and draw to unknown. So put down an unknown, play it again for another feral letter. Okay, there's a combi. Um, I think I'll find so what I'm gonna do is put down Kobe retreat. Barrel letter. And then I'm just going to pass. Yeah. I'm just going to pass right now. Yeah, I'm going to pass on their opponent's turn. Okay. Uh, what we can do, if he plays Enhanced Hammer, so what? We'll just Special Charge back our deck via Sacred for Sycamore. Get a new hand of seven. And we are looking, like, fantastic on this first turn. I mean, we have 36 cards left in our deck. As long as we find a DC and a Zeb Strike, it would take a knockout on the active. So, Garboda coming down. Okay. Another Trevor's coming down as well. Alrighty. And uh, doesn't want to have it. So an end. We'll both get a new hand of six, which is fantastic. We do have a sick more than discard pile, so we talked like a VS Seeker. We can play that instantly. Uh, there's a VC VS. Oh my goodness. This hand is so good. Alright, so <laughs> uh, DCT active. We'll probably see a Y Cyclone, most likely. To move the DC off the active to the bench. Uh guy so why cyclone yep like i said doing 90 damage move the dc up the active to the evital but on our turn we're going to promote the blitzel ultra ball for zep Shrika, put down best queen dc the active and go crazy all right so on our turn we get a best queen so ultra ball discard one and two or a zep Shrika. okay so put a zep Shrika on the active we will double best the queen all right so one and two uh, DC the Zep Strika and VS Secret for a second. We're like, this is a way better, like, way better start than our last game. All right, so Sycamore, discard her hand, draw on seven of cards. There's a Garbodo, Lysander. All right, so right now, we're just going to Crashing Bolt for the knockout, going down to four prize cards. Now, this even though can retaliate for a knockout, do not get me wrong. There's a Vitalizer and a Force of Giant Plants, but uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, uh, Dark Energy the Active, okay. And let's see how is this going to play out. I mean, he's going to be a secret for an end. All right, so in, going to get his new hand of six. Or new hand of four, sorry. Okay, but can we find a Blitzel or not is the big question. All right, so good on four. Teammates, Acrobike, okay. So we can automatically get a DC if we want to. We can go for VS Secret for next. I think we're just like, we're going to Acrobike first see what we hit. That's the first thing. Alright, so fighting field going to the active doesn't matter too much. Like I said, we can always one shot this Evital. Alright, so 100 damage, not gonna have Zep Strike up. Move a DC from that guy to the bench, Evital, and we are tied up on prize cards. So let's send the Vest Queen and let's Acrobike first, like I said. So in our turn, we get a VS Seeker. That's a good card, top deck. Uh, Acrobike. Grabbing an Acrobike, discarding that Combi. We really don't want more Pokemon. That we just want to discard all of our Pokemon. Um, ooh. All right, so grab Zeb Striker, okay? And what we're going to do is teammates for a Blitzel and a DCE, okay? So we're going to get these two cards. We'll put down Blitzel and we will just be revenge. All right, so there we go. We'll be revenge for 130. And our plan next turn is to like send the best queen, put a DC on it, put down Zep Strika, uh, maybe a revitalizer for another Combi and Combi, put one down. Uh, we have no Zep, yeah, so we should be okay. DCT active, uh, fighting field going to the bench guy. I don't care about that. And does he have a Lysander? 
Uh, Sycamore, go ahead and discard his hand, draw seven cards. He will go down to three, but then we'll go out to two. And as long as we knock out this other Evital, we should be a okay. So, Flowstone, go down to Garboder to shut down our abilities. So, we cannot use Unknown anymore, can't use Cluffkin anymore. But that doesn't really matter too much. And we will see a knockout of my opponent going down to two, three prize cards, but. I think we're going to have this game, guys. Like, I'm fairly confident. I am I am pretty confident. I would say so. All right. So, uh, how many Revitalizers have we played? Just, no, we haven't played any Revitalizers. Um, so, two, three, four. So, why Cyclone for the knockout? Hmm. All right. If we had a Lysander, I'd actually bring up the bench. Even if take a knockout Zep Striker that way. But on our turn, do we touch the Lysander? And we don't. Alright, so put down, we like, yeah, put this up, strike it down. We'll DC the active, and we'll via sick your four Sycamore. Uh, discard your hand, draw seven new cards. And let's see, what do we find with the Sycamore? There's a life center, four giant plants. Alright, so flip stone the shaman. Put down four giant plants, and we'll be a wrench for the knockout going down to two prize cards. Alrighty, so as long as we find an energy next turn, we can knock out this guy. Uh, there's a via sicker, shaman, okay. Uh, here comes Garboder. All right, so let's see what's going to happen. Does he have an end or not? Uh, if he has an enhanced hammer, just kind of like the same, same situation. And an enhanced hammer would mess us up. But if he just plays enhanced hammer, we can be a secret for Sycamore, discarding one, two, three, and being okay. Like give you Lysander's enhanced hammer. I think we take a knockout. I'm not sure how much we did last turn. I guess I could check that. I guess I should check that. Uh, four, okay, there's an uh, Ultra Ball, okay, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, uh, six, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right, so we actually don't take a knockout immediately on Evital EX. So I need, I believe we need Evital come down. Max looks here, look at top cards of his deck. Uh, not going to hit anything. And do we see a VS Seeker or not? How many ends has he played? Two in and one VS Seeker. Alrighty. Alrighty, guys. Just wait to see what's going to happen. We do have what? So there's a Via Seeker for Sycamore. Alright, so he's going to Sycamore right now. Wow, that is interesting. That's not a play I thought he would do. If he does, if he does go through with this, I thought he would Via Seeker for an in. Because we have so many cards left in our hand. Like, why would you not go for an in? Alright, so. Oh, there's a Via Seeker. Okay, so this Via Seeker probably grab an L a Lysander. Okay. And a Sycamore. Alright, so that's fairly interesting. I wonder what he's digging for. Huh. He could have end us, but he's not going to. Parallel City come down. Okay. I'm going to make him do 20 less damage. But if we find a DCE, we can take a knockout on this Evital. Huh. Alright. So Dark and you go to this guy. And, uh, okay, go to send this guy. He is, he is putting all, yeah, he's saying, hey, you're not going to have a life center, or you're not going to hit a DC, but, I mean, I don't know if he can do step striking math, but that guy is taking a knockout on the active if we find a DC. So, Dark Ninja, that guy, he'll go down to two, send another Shaman, and as long as we find a DC, we win the game. We have 16 cards left in our hand. There's a Trubbish, so we'll be a Seeker. Four, oh, for teammates, and we win. Yeah, yeah, what am I talking about? There's teammates. Three DCEs though. One, it could be Prius. So let's teammates. And there's the DC. So we'll grab the DCE. We'll put that on Jeff Strike up. We'll retreat and take a knock on. There we go, guys. DCE retreats and we'll crashing bolt for the knockout. Taking the game against the Evasol Garboda deck. That one was a little bit better. We had two prize. He had two instead of one. And there you go, guys. Like I said earlier, Evasol Garboda is going to be one of the biggest decks online right now. It is everywhere. That's why you saw it twice in the video. And these are pretty two good games. Now, this could have been totally different if my opponent had in us. If they had in us, then who would have known uh, what would happen? But as long as we had a VS Seeker, we would have won the game. But guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned something new about the best queen Zep Striker deck. I think it is really, really strong, especially if we had Evital all day, which you will play a bunch of Evital at Dallas Regionals. But guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty. Bye. All right, guys, I just want to give a quick shout out to our three sponsors, Six Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty.